Good morning, it's Saturday. It is so incredibly hot and nice out. I'm on the way into town to meet my dad for coffee and uh, I've got a couple of errands to run on the way. Sarah forgot her lunch, so I'm gonna drop that off to her. And also it's Father's Day tomorrow, so I need to pick up a card and probably just an Amazon gift card for my dad. So I'm just gonna do that on the way to meet them. And that, no real plans for today, um, but it is so hot and bright and warm, which is amazing. So I went for coffee, which was cool. The Starbucks we were going to go to was shut, so we went to a different one. And now I'm just meeting up with Sarah on her Hello. lunch break, who has some ice cream from Hotel Chocolate. Always, always the best. Is it good? That's all right. I think oh. they're frozen. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so we're going to sit in the sun for a little bit. Sarah's going to have her ice cream. Put on my sunglasses. Oh, no. We have decided to come and get some sides sitting outside the diner. Not been here before, but it looks pretty cool. It does look really good. You all day breakfast as well. Yeah, so we're gonna have a look and see what they do. So our lunch plans were kind of ruined by a long wait on food. So we ended up just getting some drinks and then Sarah's gone back to work and now I'm just gonna head home. Uh, it's still really, really nice out. So I think I'm just gonna open the doors and sit on the balcony probably, which is gonna be really nice and I'm definitely looking forward to it. While we were looking around, I had a pretty productive day in town. Managed to get some bits that I've been needed for a while. So I finally got a blackhead remover, which should help with my skin. I've got some Body Shop Mojito body wash because that was on sale, which is fantastic. And I really like this one. It smells amazing and they were doing three for two on their face and makeup stuff. So I got a seaweed oil balancing clay mask, which is my favorite skin mask to do, like a wash off mud mask type one, a deep cleansing gel wash, which really helps my skin, and a new thing, which is a pore cleansing exfoliator, which I'm really excited to give a try because I really like this whole seaweed line. I think it's fantastic. Then for Glastonbury in the week, I have a small version of the hairspray I use, so I can take that and not the big one and then some ibuprofen, which will also help at the festival because I'm gonna be doing lots of lifting and carrying and so it'd be really nice to have some painkillers around just in case I need them. And boots are cheap for that, so I figured I might as well pick some up. Gonna open the door in a second because it is really, really hot in here. Like, it is insane. And yeah, just probably gonna enjoy the afternoon. I'm having a bit of a quick tidy up because there are so many discarded water bottles from packs of these all around the house right now where I've been drinking water and just putting it down. So I'm going through and tidying up all of my rubbish that I should have done a long time ago. Just been having some beers in the sun and put some chicken wings in the oven, which is awesome. It is so hot. Like I can see on all the social media and forums and stuff that everyone's complaining how hot it is. But personally, I think this is pretty nice. Like. I'm enjoying this, this is really, really good, and it's nice to see the weather being awesome because I'm gonna be in a field from the middle of next week, so hopefully this kind of keeps up and we can have that really nice, sunny festival experience. Sarah's home from work, but I am off out to one of the local parks. There's a outdoor cinema screening going on that's being put on by some of the people I work with through the Silent Disco stuff who I'm going to Glastonbury with, who've asked if I could, don't mind sort of coming down and taking a few photos for them. So I said I will, because it's a nice evening. So I'm just headed there to do that. I don't think I'll be out too long. Doors open at nine and film isn't until 10, so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna stay for. They're screening Top Gun though, which should be pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go down, take a few photos, and then head home after that, where we'll catch up with Sarah, who is home, just haven't filmed anything yet, but we will. So here's all my gear that I'm using for shooting. I've got my alternate 35mm lens, my 24 to 105, 5D, and a cool clapperboard prop that everyone loves to hold, so wish me luck. It's starting to get dark now, but you can see the screen there with the Paramount logo on it. Tight Film's Top Gun, I can't remember if I said, but should be really cool. Looks like there's a really good crowd too, so yeah, pretty awesome. Well, there we go, done my thing. It's too dark now to take any more photos, so I am just gonna walk home. Film's just started. Looks like it's gonna be a good screening. Loads of people, which is what we love to see. It's really awesome. It's actually really nice just sort of sitting out outside, chilling, nice big inflatable screen. It's nice, it's really enjoyable and it's a really pleasant evening. Like we did some last year that got kind of rained off which absolutely sucks because it's a lot less fun. But this is a, a really perfect night for it so really good way to kick that off for this year. So I'm just going to go home now, do some editing on the photos I've just taken and yeah, that's about it I guess quick little unplanned excursion on this Saturday night. Sarah is already in bed, so we will catch up with her tomorrow. I'm just gonna go and edit the photos and then probably also go to bed not too late either. So I will see you tomorrow. 
Good morning. It is another nice day outside, which is great, but it's a lot less hot than yesterday, which is also great. Yesterday was kind of on like the upper edge of manageably warm, so it is nice to be a bit cooler today. I'm trying to find where the light's good. Maybe I'll go back over here. Yeah, that makes sense. There we go. So, not much planned for today. Uh, I managed to get all the photos processed last night. Um, Sarah is already at work, so we'll see her, we will see her in this vlog. It's gonna be when she gets back in from work today, which will be later this afternoon when we edit Monday's vlog and probably this vlog as well, actually, maybe, because where I'm gonna be at Glastonbury, uh, we kind of have to get a lot of our videos have done and out of the way and ready to go before they need to be out, otherwise it'll be just Sarah doing it and that's a lot harder, so if we can do it while we're together, that would be much easier. Not sure that I'm gonna to film too much today. Sarah and I have tomorrow off together, so I think what I'm probably gonna do is make this like a three day thing, and we'll have like a minimal Sunday and then do something fun on the Monday. We're not sure what we wanna do yet, but we wanna do something, so we might go somewhere or see some stuff. Picked up this water on Friday, and I'm definitely getting through it. Bottled water. So good, keep it in the fridge, keep it cool. Exactly what I need right now in the hot weather. Played a couple of hours of Counter-Strike, which was fun. Kind of making the most of my last weekend at home with electricity for a while. And now just stopping for a quick lunchtime snack and a bit of a drink. This is a giant, giant bottle. But it's actually a really, really nice vodka. Um, I was expecting good things because everyone always talks about it, but it's actually really, really, really good. So that was well worth that. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of uh, vodka Coke to go with my lunchtime pizza. These pizzas are literally huge. Like, I'm only halfway through this and I got it on Friday. I've been eating it slowly throughout the weekend with some wings and I'm still not really making a huge dent in it. They are incredibly giant and such good value, especially compared to like the takeaway places like Domino's or anything like that. So good. So I was keeping a vodka Coke in the freezer to keep it cool. I've overdone it slightly. Left it in too long and now it's gone completely solid. Never mind. It'll still be fine. This actually might have worked out in my favor. This looks really, really good. Perfect, considering how hot it still is today. It is really nice. Vlogception! Vlogception, vlogception, vlogception! Ooh, it's taking a long time to move. Come on. Come on. <laughs> turn the camera. Turn it. Turn it. Oh, it's different. It's Ash. Oh, no, it's uh, different. It's completely different. Because it's also technically not Sunday. It's Monday. Yay! Yeah, really just breaking all of the patterns and all of the rules. Mm-hmm. So, first thing we need to do today is drop Ash's gear off at the place where the van is for Glastonbury so they can take that for him. And then we take some rubbish down and I'm not really sure, I really want to be outside. It's like 28 degrees today, I think. And I just want to be outside in it. So whatever we do, I need to be out there. Sirens. I've already put sun cream on today, which is if you watched our reacting to our holiday videos, which I highly recommend. I will link them below. Uh, that I got really burnt on holiday. So I learned from this and today I've put sun cream on, even though we're in the UK and that sounds really weird. I am all sun creamed up and ready for the day. So I also need to get petrol. That is the thing I need to do this morning because my car's almost out. And yeah, and then we'll see where we go. I'm kind of hungry. So I need to get something for eat here or go out for food, so I'm not sure yet. Not sure where we're gonna go. So we shall see. So we're in Cosmo and it's basically an all-you-can-eat buffet of just different world cuisines and it's been really nice. I'm like halfway through the dessert section, so I'm gonna have another set of desserts. Do you like it? I did, what yeah, have you been liking? Food. The beef? Yeah, that's a really good like Mongolian lamb. Yeah, I didn't eat all of mine, but I'm gonna go back for some more ice cream because why the heck not? <laughs> I got banana fritters, lemon cheesecake, piece of jelly, some tiramisu, some strawberry cheesecake, and some ice cream. Yum, yum, yum. So we've had lunch at Cosmo, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was. And we've now come to Hedge End to go to Aunt Mai's B&Q, uh, not B&Q, <laughs> M&S. It's another like, acronym, is it called an acronym? 
Initialism? Initialism. I don't know. So we're going to get M&S and Sainsbury's, get Ash some lemon and some ice, and I'm going to just see what nice things they have. And it is still very, very hot. Hence the lemon and the ice. Lemon and ice. So we went to Marks and Spencer's and Sainsbury's. Went to Sainsbury's first. Thought, hey, we'll just get ice in Marks and Spencer's because that's where we're going last. Went to Marks and Spencer's and they had no ice. So hopefully Sainsbury's will have ice. Ice, Ash has gone back in to get some so we can have some nice, cold, refreshing drinks when we get in, which sounds amazing. I don't know whether I should drive around and meet him because where we are, there's a Marks and Spencer's and then, is that him? No, there's a Marks and Spencer's and then the Sainsbury's around the other side. So I don't know if I should drive around to the other side to meet him or if I should wait here. I don't, he buys very quickly, so I don't know if I should go around or wait. Hmm, I might ring him and see what he wants me to do. I'm going to have some vegetable fusion gyozas for dinner. <clears throat> they microwave in three minutes and I've not had these before but it's by Itsu. So we'll give them a go, put them on a plate and then stick them in the microwave and see if they're any good. Oops, too much. Three minutes. Yum yum yum. These are all done so I think I'm going to douse them and some soy sauce. I think they would have come out a lot better if I steamed them, but honestly I'm too lazy for that right now. I just wanted something quick. So I put them in the microwave and we'll see how they come out. Watching vlogs and then Ash was telling me about this really cool beer that he is drinking, so I'm going to show you the beer. Can I borrow your beer? Yeah. It is this beer. Let me smell it. it. Smells fruity. It is, it's quite nice. I can't really taste much of the mango, but it's light and fruity and it's uh, really nice and refreshing. It's called Disco Forklift Truck Mango Pale Ale. <laughs> it smells really fruity and I picked it out for him because I'm good at picking out weird things. So I'm going to put this back in front of Ash. Thank you. Have you ticked it off your mm -hmm. beer thing? That... Yep, ticked it off on untapped. Untapped. And yeah, that's it. Currently watching um, Crispy S'mores Fit for Florida, where they've gone to Brighton. Makes me really want to go to Brighton. I haven't been to Brighton in forever. So I feel I need to make a trip to Brighton because just looking at the sweets and chocolates makes me really want to go. <laughs> so I'm about to plan that in soon. I am currently watching Jurassic World. It is so freaking hot, but amazing. Just really hot. And um, I'm just going to watch a little bit more of this and I think I'm going to go to bed because I have work early in the morning. So thank you for sharing these couple of days with me. I'm going to try and keep vlogging in the future because I need to get used to doing it. It's still very new for me to do on my own. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.